Hello, I'm Boris Rehimov, engineer of the Globus Engineering Company, and I welcome you to our presentation. Today's topic is about the importance of performing computer-aided engineering for prediction of possible design failures. We will review one of our case studies, the defense transportation truck. Focusing on this example, we will explain the importance of performing calculations and analysis for design of new vehicles. In our case, we have a truck whose design failed a couple of times during the first year of exploitation. This happened because the manufacturer neglected analysis and optimization during the design process. So we see these failures on the picture. So the frame failures, winch housing, cracked along all of its height, and the gearbox housing failed also with the crack. It's necessary to analyze and test design, especially for defense vehicles, because of extreme load effects. So let's review these problems. Frame analysis and calculations were not performed, and design was not optimized. It caused the frame crack during the exploitation. And how it could be avoided? Manufacturers should perform calculations and simulations during the design process. He will get prediction about critical failures and could optimize the design and prevent them. In this case, multi-body dynamics, both with strength and fatigue analysis, were needed. On this picture, we can see the uh, modeled copy of our initial design. Multidisciplinary structural analysis can be performed in Nestron. So the first step is creation of calculation model. Multi-body dynamics simulation and calculations of the loaded vehicle will give us a picture and understanding of the vehicle behavior in a real loaded condition. We see how our frame responds to the conditions and the chases also on this simulation. So, and then results should be transferred to the strength analysis software. And this analysis can be performed in finite element method software like Nestron. Analysis results shows us the weak areas of the frame, which marked with blue and green colors. It also can show us the real crack itself and its formation. We see that predicted failure correspond to the real one. So these results could be used to predict failure and prevent it during the design process and optimization. The next critical design solution is a winch housing. As we can see, it's also cracked through all of its height. This crack could be avoided if manufacturer performed strength and fatigue analysis. And in results, we've got the strength data both with stresses distribution along the housing geometry. We can see that that's a critical area calculated and marked with the red color. Calculated results showed us a crack formation which corresponds with the real failure. As you can see here this area. So considering these weak points, manufacturer could reduce extra costs on repairs and avoid brand reputation risks. The next important units are vehicle gearboxes. It's quite important to do analysis and optimization for them, because its failures can affect on the vehicle mobility or cause complete stop. Moreover, gearbox failures are difficult and expensive to repair. In this model, we have two different gearboxes and have a look at them both. What should we do during design to predict and prevent this? So creating simulation and calculation models is a good approach. So we need to calculate the gear train and the gearbox housing both. First, the loaded gear system should be calculated. We get results such as safety factors, I mean reliability, in simple words, 
and forces on bearings, as you can see on this animation, which then will be transferred to the housing. So in this case, the initial gear train design was good, but let's pay attention to the loads on the right bearing. Yeah, we see this simulate simulations of our loaded gear stage which then we used in our housing analysis. Calculation results then applied in housing strength analysis. We remember that bearings transfer loads to the housing and during the housing analysis we found that the area of the bearing mounting is weak. We see that area marked with yellow and red colors here. Also the formation of crack was simulated and it corresponds to the real crack. So if manufacturer performed these calculations, his gearbox won't fail. There is the other gearbox in vehicle, the bevel gearbox. So it's also operated in tough conditions. For example, if there is lubrication issues or design was not optimized for high loads, then gear train would fail. In this case, gear teeth were fractured and broken, as we see on this photo. And to prevent these failures, manufacturer had to perform some kind of analysis. First one is durability, second is lubrication, and in addition, he would check the vibration behavior of the gearbox. Oil flow simulation would help manufacturer to do the lubrication analysis and define elements which are not lubricated properly. In this simulation we see the oil flow distribution, how the oil lubricates our gearbox elements. Durability and mobility dynamics analysis would help to predict possible failures during the exploitation. These data could be used in design optimization stage to prevent gear body failures and teeth fractures. In simulation we can see marked red areas are critical in case of high stresses both on the gear bodies and on the teeth. Of the gears. And additional vibration analysis would help to define key points of noise optimization. I mean, to reduce noise in case when it's critical to make sure that vehicle will be quiet and can't be easily detected. So, in conclusion, we can compare the cost data of initial real model with cost data of optimized model. We see here two graphics, warranty and repair cost for initial model with a blue color and the usual warranty cost for the optimized model with the orange color. So we see more and more extra costs rising for the you know for our initial model. Started with the third month when the range failed and then the frame cracks and the big gap be begins from the third uh, from the sixth month when the gear pair failed and then especially with the gearbox failure because these are most expensive in repairs during the warranty so the analysis and optimization of design is definitely cost effective. We see that cost for calculated and optimized track design was significantly low in compare with the initial ones. So that's the results of the case study. In addition, I'd like to share a couple of simulations for aerodynamic analysis. The first one was performed for UAV chases. We can see here the airflow behavior. Red areas of airflow 
shows us high velocities of the air flow fluctuations and green areas shows us low velocities. This next animation shows the airflow simulation during the takeoff. We again can see the airflow fluctuations and the velocities of this airflow and how it affects during the takeoff of the vehicle. The last one represents the aerodynamics when a vehicle gets off the ground and retracts the chases. Let's see. We can see how the airflow is changing. Also, there are more simulations we can perform, such as manu maneuvering, takeoff, and landing. And for all of these analyses, we can optimize the aerodynamics of the vehicle body to increase mo mobility and range of flight. That's all for today's presentation. It was Boris Rahimov, engineer in Globus Engineering Company. And as experts, we are glad to help you with your engineering analysis in your projects or provide niche software. So feel free to contact us. And thank you for your attention.